hi everyone today i'm going to show you how i have implemented autocomplete in angular 8 with the help of node.js as an api endpoint and the feature i have used uh, from angular and rx is the i can show you it's distinct until change debounce time and switch map so you must already have implemented autocomplete in your project or you have uh, done some practice on it but my focus is on the switch map so you uh, must have already know about this debounce time distinct until change um, and you may already be aware of the switch map but I'm, today I'm going to show you how I have implemented this uh, so as you can see this is an input input field and it is it is one at a complete field so whenever user will type in in this field one api call to be triggered right the, which will give you the response the suggestions right so if i do it like this it will do the api call and it will give me the response i have set the a timeout delay for five seconds in the node.js api endpoint <coughs> now to explain these two time so i have set two timer one is for two seconds which is the debounce time i have set this one and another is the five seconds which is the timeout i have set i have set in api endpoint so once this done this will be started once the wait time is done in the angular side it will be started it means the api call will go and api call will be in progress for five seconds after five seconds it will return the data right so starting from the node so this is the api endpoint here i started one set timeout inside which i am running the query select query it's fetching the data and uh, returning as response and this all things happening in five second delay i have given a five second delay to explain it properly obviously there will be no no uh, delay like this in real code base so in five second uh, it will take take five second to process then it will send the response <coughs> and what i have in the template i have the input field one ng model and i have a subject i on model change i have called the next of that subject that's all and here's the time timer and this one is the box to show the suggestions autocomplete suggestions which will be coming from the api endpoint so let's come to the ts file uh, okay so this is the subject on which i'm doing the next on model change in the view i just showed you this one dot next autocomplete update dot next and here i have the autocomplete update it's a subject <coughs> and here is the uh, here is the flow on whenever user are doing any change this will get executed so i have added a, added a pipe and there in a map what i did I initially cleared the suggestion list if i have anything it's items right so i have uh, done a loop in items to show the suggestions so uh, initially i cleared it out <coughs> and also i have initialized one timer it will be uh, it will be for two seconds since the debounce time is two seconds that's why i have given time for two seconds so this will explain us that whenever two seconds time will be zero it will call the api this one this api call right 
and you know debounce time will wait for the two seconds and distinct until change will uh, dis uh, see that uh, whether user made any change or not from the previous value so so in if the previous value and the new value is same it will not call the api so let's come to this Now, it was 3, I made change and I make it again 3, it will not call the API. Removed and I placed, it will not call the API. Now I do the change for 2 seconds, see it's changing. The 2 second done, this gets started, API call in placed, it will give 5 seconds and the response will come again say test two second done five seconds started five seconds to be done and response to come response is available right so if i make it like this so this is the debounce time and say this is the distinct until change nothing will fall I have change and I remove so it was test and after change also it is test test so no API call made like this and now see I made any change API call placed now again I made some changes again API call placed so see the first API got cancelled you can see this is the use of switch map let me show you again te now API call placed. Now I made another change. API call placed. I made another change. See all the in uh, previous API call is getting cancelled since we are placing one new API call. Right. So this is the use of switch map. Now I have done the subscribe and. Uh, assign the response into the items which is doing the loop for suggestion list so uh, this was this it was a very short video thanks everyone if you like this please uh, share the video like and subscribe to my channel thank you the link to the code base you will find in the description